Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. But there's some noise. Uh, I don't know. What kind of noise do you hear? like blowing okay hold on let's see so i see new faces <laughs> yes i'm new here good welcome thank you okay so I see Julia, Lourdes, Claudia. Wait a minute. Uh, what level are you guys in? Advanced model two. Okay, very good. Okay, I got it. Okay, my name is Francisco and um, I'm in charge of the group. Um, the class is uh, Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. Can everybody hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So I see Mr. Noches, Julia, Claudia Lourdes, Adrian, Mario, and I see one that says Samsung SM. Samsung, who is Samsung? No? Okay. Uh, Julia, can you hear me? Yes, I am. Okay, Claudia, can. Can, Claudia can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, hello, Teresa, how are you? Okay, Adrian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Ricardo Calderon, can you hear me? Ricardo? Mario Bolaños, can you hear me? Yes. Lourdes Hernandez, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. So, like I was telling you guys, let's see. Mr. Noches, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Okay, once again, my name is Francisco. Uh, our class is from Monday through Thursday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Right? Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So, uh, my name is Francisco. I'm 48 years old. I live in Lourdes, I have five children, and I'm an English teacher from Monday through Saturday. And that's basically everything about me. So since we have new faces, I would like everybody to introduce yourself. Give us your name, where you live, where you work, and the things you do. Um, and, and, and any other okay can you guys hear me yes now okay. we can hear you all right the reason why i mute some people here is because we have a lot of noise in the background so you have to make sure that when you connect, try to look for the best spot in your house for so everybody can hear better and also for your own good. 
got it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. So may I have the first volunteer to introduce yourself? Okay. Hey, hello. Okay, volunteer, Rick. Okay, okay. This is uh, Ricardo Calderon. I'm from a British company called G4S Salvador, and I'm excited to stay here and to have interaction with all of yours. Okay, and, and where are you right now, Ricardo? What part of El Salvador? I'm in, in my job here at U.S. Embassy. U.S. Embassy? Yeah, yeah. So you're in Santa Elena right now? Santa Elena yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Santa Elena. All right, very good. Yeah. It's a, I, I, I think it's a very uh, nice place here, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a, oh my God, it's a interruption. Hello? Okay, hold on. Yes, let me mute everybody. <laughs> okay, yes. Hello? Yes, we, we can hear you, Rick. Okay, excellent. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity to to improve my English language and, and I'm happy to stay here. Very good, nice. Uh, Thank you, Rick. Okay. All right. Who's next? Okay, Lourdes. Okay, well, uh, well, uh, if you can see, I am Lourdes Fernandez, and I work in, in a company uh, called Reflex. Reflex is about material for construction. And uh, I, right now, I am my home, and I am very excited for learn uh, more English. Okay, very yeah. good. And where is your home, Lourdes? San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who's next? Okay, who's next? Anybody? Volunteer or victim? Me. Okay, Teresa. Hello. My name is work at Universidad Católica del Salvador. I am from Santa Ana. Very good. Thank you, Teresa. So see, Teresa, she lives and she works in Santa Ana. In Santa Ana. All right. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Hello. Who said hello? hello? Mario. Mario, Mario yes. Bolaños. Okay, Mario, tell us about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Mario Bolaños and I'm 26 years old and I work in Banco Pro America at La Gran Vía. And right, uh, right now I am in a, I'm at my home and he's in Mexicanos. Okay, very good. What part of Mexicanos, Mario? And the center of Mexicanos. Oh, downtown Mexicanos. Downtown. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. Who's next? Hi. Hello? Julia? Yeah, yeah. Hello, Hi. Julia. Hello, my name is Julia Jimenez. Uh -huh. I work in Fruit of the Loom. In Santa Ana plant, it's in Lower de Colón. And I live in Santa Ana City. And I have 38 years old. Okay, you are 38 years old. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. What part of Santa Ana are you in? Um, near to Metro Center. Very good. Thank you, Julia. Okay, so Claudia? Yes. 
Okay, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Claudia? Okay, my name is Claudia. Um, 31 years old. I work in Logística Comercial El Salvador. Uh -huh. I live in San Salvador. Um, I'm really excited about improve my English. Okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia. You're welcome. All right, let's say Karen. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Good, fine. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Karen? Um, well, yes, I'm, I'm from San Salvador, but I live in Lourdes, as you know. Okay. And I work in a shipping carrier company. Uh-huh. Also in San Salvador, so... Well, I'm here in my second course. Very good. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Let's hear it from Adrian. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, my name is Adrian Guerra. Uh, I'm 38 years old. Uh, I work in AFP Confia. Mm -hmm. I'm a system analyst. I work in a development system. And well, I'm excited to practice and improve my English. Very good. Thank you, Adrian. You're welcome. Gilberto. Gilberto Guzman. Can you hear me? Okay. Evelyn, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, can you introduce yourself, Evelyn? Okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Evelyn Hovel. I am a graphic designer. I work in a factory and I live with my parents in just that. Okay, just that. Huh? Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. Uh, you let's welcome. see. Karen, Evelyn, Mario, Adrian, Claudia. Did Claudia talk already? Yes, yes Claudia. I did. Okay, Gabriela. Hi. Hello, Gabriela. Good night. My Good name evening. is Gabriela. Uh huh. I'm 25 years old and I work in Fruit of the Loon and I'm from Santa Tecla. Oh, good. What's your last name, Gabriela? Martinez. Oh, Martinez. Because yes. I, I only see M-A-R, so I said maybe it's Marroquín. No, it's Martinez. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's hear it from Douglas. Good evening. Good evening. So, it's a pleasure to be again here with you, teacher. And my name is Douglas Perez. I'm from Soyapango. I'm studying at Don Bosco University, mechanical engineer. So it is a pleasure to be here and improve myself, my English skills again. Very good. Thank you, Douglas. Let's hear it from Federico. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, my name is Federico Melendez. I work at IFP Confia, uh, like Adrián. We we work together. Uh, we we work at the uh, technology. Uh, I, I like to to practice my English too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Federico. Let's hear it from Jose. Jose Inglés. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, well, I'm in Chicago. I work in the airport. And I, I find to improve my English skills because it's important to me to to get opportunity, uh, new opportunities, uh, 
current, uh, currently I work in a different area that that I want. But it's my it's my goal to to obtain a, a new job. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jose. Let's hear it from Martin Noches. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Martin Noches. I work in Banco Pro America, an international department. And I have 38 years old. And I live in Santa Tecla, Ciudad Morleot. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. Noches. Maribel. Can you introduce yourself, Maribel? Can you guys hear Maribel? No. No, no huh? <laughs> Maribel, can you hear me? Okay, so we'll go with Telma. We'll come back to Maribel. Telma, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Telma Alfaro. I work in Promerica Bank, uh, like Martin. Uh -huh. um, I, I am 40 years old. And I work in a corporate uh, area in a bank. And I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And I guess everybody spoke. Gilberto, can you hear me? I guess he doesn't. Maribel, can you hear me? Maribel? Okay, anyways, we'll have the chance to um, introduce ourselves. Um, okay, Gilberto, he says he can hear. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. Um, once again, welcome back. Um, have you had the chance to visit the platform? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes I did. Okay. So every week there is uh, a specific amount of material that we're supposed to cover. Um, I suggest that you do all your assignments on a weekly basis. So you guys don't leave everything for the last minute. Um, you might find inconvenience with the platform. Maybe when you're doing exercises, you will find uh, that your answer is good, but the platform doesn't accept it for one reason or another. So I suggest that you do all your work on a, on a weekly basis so you guys don't, uh, don't have any problems at the end. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So one of the activities that we have in the platform is related to this right here. Okay, can you see the PowerPoint? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, so, so this is vocabulary that we use um, every day. Uh, I need a volunteer to help me read. Um, Anybody? Yes, I am. Uh, uh, hey. Okay, what hey. is the first word? A compliment. Uh, compliment. Okay, a compliment. What's the meaning of compliment? It's cumplido. Okay. When so, you say something good uh, yeah. to very, anyone. Exactly, very good. You said, oh, nice dress, uh, nice mm. perfume. The new haircut looks good on you. So that's a compliment. It's a compliment, okay. So is that good or bad? 
That's good. good. That's good. Yeah. When was the last time you received a compliment? <laughs> Every day, huh? Every day. Every day. <laughs> Yesterday okay. from my mom. All the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a compliment is a compliment. And, and, you know, your mom is like your number one fan. She's so <laughs> Okay, what about the second one? An, an insult. insult. An insult. Okay, an insult. So that, that, that word is very similar to the one we have in Spanish. So is it positive or negative? Negative. Okay. negative. Now, uh, if you drive... You know that this is very common in the Salvadorian driving culture. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So people use this type of words to make you feel bad, or sometimes they use the hunk of the car, right? Yep. And they hunk three times. <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh. laughs> and then you say, What does my mother have to do with this? But that's not the culture. <laughs> All right. Then we have number three. How do you pronounce number three? Appropriate. 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 Okay. Appropriate. 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 How many syllables do you hear? Mm. Appropriate. Four. 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 Four syllables. Appropriate. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? How do you identify the number of syllables in a word? It has to be a vowel. The, the song, the sound. What sound, Evelyn? <laughs> the vowel. vowel. Exactly, Vowels. very good. So vowel. when you pronounce a word and you hear three vowels, that tells you that the word has three syllables. When you pronounce the word and you hear four vowel sounds, then that tells you that the word has four syllables and so on. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about number four? Bad form. Bad form. Now, when do you use this expression? Hey, that's a bad form to ask for things. Uh, you're saying in the in the in the opposite form it could be when you are, are not the, the correct form. Okay, good. Or good. The appropriate form. Okay. So when you are in your office, when you are in your house, sometimes you guys you guys ask for things. You use commands. You say close the door, open the window, bring the food, or you also use magic words. What are those magic words? Please. Please, please, please and thanks. And thank you. Okay. Please and thank you. Right? What do you say when you walk between two people? Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you say when by accident you push somebody? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. Sorry. Exactly. So those are magic words that make life Easy. Right? Now, what about no, this one here? Ricardo, you can say something? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I have inter inf interference. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I'm ready, okay. Okay. How do you pronounce this one? Inappropriate. 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 How many Inappropriate. do you hear? Inappropriate. Probably four. 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 I think four. 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 Does anybody have a different opinion than four? Five. five. <laughs> okay. How many people say five? Uh, maybe five. Yeah. Maybe five. I am. Yeah. Okay. Now remember, when we want to identify five. the number of syllables in a word, we classify sounds. Not the letters that we see, but the sounds that we hear. So when you say inappropriate, inappropriate. Eight. 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 How many? Five. Five. Five is correct. Five. Inappropriate. Five. 
Mm -hmm. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Can you give me an example of inappropriate behavior on the street? Uh, Any example? For, to maybe be on the street. Throwing garbage. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. good. Who said leader? Uh, here. Okay. You guys see the chat? Yeah. Oh, what, is, what is the word that I just typed? Littering. Littering. Okay. Can someone explain the meaning of littering? It is the same that they say. It's like throwing garbage on in an appropriate place. Very good. That's exactly what it is. And sadly, that is part of Salvadorian culture. You eat something, you drink something, you have a garbage in your hand. The first thing you do, you throw it on the floor. So that is littering. Littering. Yeah, littering. 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 Littering if you want to sound British. Littering if you want to sound like a gringo. <laughs> so you decide. Like That's Harry it. Potter. Huh? Like exactly. Harry Potter. Exactly, exactly. So do you drink water or do you drink water? Water. Water. <laughs> So, like uh, Harry Potter. Exactly. Francisco is a teacher. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Can you give me other examples of inappropriate behavior? Mm. Um, taking out your shoes in. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, taking off your shoes. Uh huh. Taking off your shoes, I don't know, when you are dining room. In a dining room? Yeah. Okay, but it, 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 if you are in your house, do you think that that's acceptable? Nope. Mm. Yeah. It's not. At home? Nope, yeah. it's not. <laughs> okay. I'm it's sorry, like, yeah, but it, not in the dining room. Okay, yeah, not in the dining room. Yeah. Now imagine if, uh, and sometimes feet, you know, like sometimes they smell, so I don't think it's a good idea to do. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so what about if we talk about behavior on the streets? Someone said littering. Um, yeah, for example, uh, peace on the streets. Yeah, that's yeah, another, another. Yeah, yeah. And that's a very bad cultural thing. Yeah, and it's common in El Salvador. Yeah, true. A any other examples from anybody else? Lourdes, Paint, painting the wall. Graffiti? Yeah, yeah. graffiti. No. It's speeding. Like yeah. Okay, speeding. Okay. How do you say acoso? Harassment. Harassment, it could be. Okay, what kind of harassment? Um, against girls and... Also, men's, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's sexual, sexual harassment. Sexual, yeah, sexual, sexual harassment. harassment. Yeah. The hideous no. things like they say, like, right. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's sexual harassment. harassment. Yes. yes. That is sexual harassment. Yeah. Or sometimes they throw kisses or, or they go like, and all that. That's yeah. That's appropriate. Yeah, That's disgusting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, what about the second, the, the next word? Normal. 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 What's normal? Something that it is fine. Okay. Like it is that, that you as usual. Okay, like common? Hey, yeah, it could be. Something usual. is accepted for everybody. Right. It can be accepted, but it doesn't mean that it's good. Yeah. Like like some of you guys were saying, when men, they pee on the streets. It's normal in El Salvador, but it's not appropriate. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. In some places, it's normal. <laughs> right, right. I see that every day. I see that every day. 
you know, and I could make an album if every time that I see it, I take a picture, I will make an album easily. <laughs> True. Okay, next word. Offensive. Offensive. Okay, offensive. offensive. Okay, how can you explain the word offensive? I know that this vocabulary is somehow basic, but I want you to speak so I can start uh, listening to you guys talk. What is offensive for you? When you scream. When you? Scream. When you scream, okay. That can be offensive, yes. When you say or do something that really, really hurts uh, okay. somebody else. Good, Karen, yes. Anybody else offensive? When you, when you, when are you use bad language. Okay, when you use bad language, yes. When you say bad words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any any other examples for offensive? Okay, what about polite? The opposite. What is polite? Can you give me can you give me an example of a polite person? For example, when uh, the things that we that we made at the start so introduce yourself it could be a polite action. Okay, uh, someone else? A person okay. who has good manners. Okay, a person with good manners. Yes, Claudia. What else? What is it? When someone conveys ideas and uh, basic polite is when someone said, for example, good morning, good evening. Right. When you have good eyes for me. Okay. Yeah. Like good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon. Those are signs when the person is polite. Yes. All right. And the last one, rude. 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 What is rude? It could be the opposite of polite. Yeah, okay, it's the, opposite. the opposite of polite. Okay. Now, all the information that we see in the session, somewhere in the platform, they will ask you questions about it. They will ask you in the evaluation. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to make groups. So you and your group have to create one sentence for each word. So if you see the chat, if you see the chat that in WhatsApp, you already have this image there. So I'm gonna make groups and you guys talk with each other. Okay. Okay, we got 20 people, so I'm going to make five groups. And here we go. Wow. Okay, Gilberto, Maribel, and Karen. And you, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so. Can you give examples of the vocabulary that we have there? Karen, Gilberto, Maribel, Julia. You look good today, teacher. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I took so a shower. Oh my God, that's good. You have to do it very often too. <laughs> Okay. So that's my compliment. See? That's my oh, compliment. That, yeah, that's my, <laughs> that's good. Now I'm going to sleep better. Okay, good. All right, so uh, that was a good example. Hey, you look good today. That's a compliment, right? Gilberto, can you hear me? Yeah, I had uh, some trouble uh, at the start, but uh, I have, uh, can't hear you now. Very good. So can you choose one word and make a sentence with it, Gilberto? Um, and polite. Uh-huh. Um, for example, I uh, have a nice trip. 
um, okay. But teacher, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you need a uh, uh, sentence with that word, exactly that word, or an example like uh, with a compliment or an insult or? Okay, uh, it would be better since like this vocabulary, you're going to find it in the platform. So I just want okay. to make sure that you guys are completely on the same page about the words that we have here. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so just make one sentence with, uh, with, 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 with each word. Okay. So that you like my compliment, teacher. I love your compliment. So see, that's my first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what okay. about the others? Maribel, hello. Maribel, you're quiet today. What's wrong with you? Can you guys hear Maribel? No. No. Okay, let, let me see in the chat. Ella está diciendo, avanza, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me visit another group. You guys keep talking uh, to each other. Okay, teacher. All right, let's see this here. Talk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And an, an appropriate. Appropriate. Uh, appropriate. For example, appropriate. A, a kind of advice you need to study more if you want to pass the exam. Okay. Evelyn, Gabriela, Martin. Mm -hmm. Martin, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, can you choose one of these words and just give us a sentence? For example, we were talking about a compliment and uh -huh. we say and we say she looks very nice. Okay, good, good. It's a compliment. Sure. And um, when we were talking about an insult. We say you are really ugly. <laughs> are you telling me or is it an example? No, <laughs> it's an example. It's an example. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, what about the others? Gabriela? Hi. Okay, what do you consider to be offensive, Gabriela? Uh, it's offensive to to say something bad about other people. Okay, fine. Especially if the things are not true. Yes, correct. Like gossip. Exactly, exactly. Good. That is offensive. Sure, sure. Offensive and disrespectful. Yes, correct. Okay, fine, good. Okay, let me visit another group. I'll be back. Okay, bye. See ya. Eduardo. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me, Eduardo? Yes, loud and clear. Very good. Okay, so here we have Freddy, Eduardo, Adrian, Douglas, Mario, and Rodrigo. Man, this is the men's section. Kobe. Yeah, no girls here. Okay, so which word are you doing right now? Compliment. Compliment, okay. Now, we, we, uh -huh. we, we are not sure if we have to use the word or, or we have to use the meaning of the word? No, just like uh, choose one of the words and, and, and use it in a sentence because this vocabulary is included in the platform. 
So I want to make sure that you guys are familiar with all this. Okay. Uh huh. So we have we have to use the word. Yeah, or, or 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 let's say for example, what do you guys consider to be offensive? In Salvadorian culture, what is offensive? Tell about your mother, for example. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So offensive. Yeah, very offensive because people know that if they say something about your mom, you get angry easily. Pit babies? Huh? Pit babies? What do you mean? Uh, Pit babies that the action that we don't like. Oh, peeves. Pit peeves. Peeves. Oh. Yes, pet peeves. Pet peeves. Thank you. Yeah, pet peeves. That's a very. Sorry, what, what that means? Yes. And, and I don't know the, the meaning of the, the word. Peeps. Which one? Oh, peeves. Uh, Freddy, can you explain? I'm going to write it in the chat. For example, um, when somebody else uh, makes something that it's a little bother for you. Teacher. Here in the country, well, uh, we have a special word. Uh, it's mania. Ah. It's like mania. Yeah, but things that make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. That's right. That's right. Uh huh. Like a okay. uh, bite, bite the nails. Okay. Or, or maybe. Poke the, uh -huh. Or poke my nose. I had an experience today. You know, I was talking in front of a group of people, and one of them was literally looking for something in in his nose, and I was <laughs> like, "My God!" He's trying to get the brain. Right. So, so there was a time I thought that I was going to see his finger coming out of his eye, you know. <laughs> so I, said, I was like, please don't do that anymore. Okay, let me go visit one more um, group and then we go back to the, to the main session. Okay. Okay. Hello, people. Okay. Hi. Which one are you discussing? Did you finish discussing uh, the vocabulary? Not yet. Oh, Not yet. Uh, finding an example, for example, of insult or polite uh, sentences. Uh, just make sure, uh, just to confirm that you guys know the meaning of each word, because this vocabulary is included in the platform. Just that. Okay. Astrid. Hello. Where were you, Astrid? Um, I am in a parking lot. Really? Yes. Are, are, are you in your car? Yes. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so um, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Mm, no. No? Okay, no. fine. So let's return to the main session. Okay. See you okay. there. Okay. See you there. Okay. Yeah, see you. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome back. All right, welcome back. Do you have any you questions have um, related with the vocabulary we were using? Is everything clear? Yes. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. As, uh huh. As I was visiting different groups, uh, people asked me uh, different questions related with vocabulary. If you can see the the chat. There are, there is one that is, uh, uh, the last one that says pet peeve. Do you remember the meaning of pet peeves? 
Where remember. is? Uh, in the chat. Pet. Can you see it? No. It's something that bother you. Uh huh. Yes. It's something that you can stand. Right, something you can't stand. So let's say your neighbor, he plays music at 10 p.m. That's a pet peeve. Yes. Pet peeve. Pet uh -huh. peeve. No, I never heard peeve. about that word. Okay. That. So pet listen peeve. to this. Pet peeves, we're talking about things that people do and you feel annoyed. You feel a little bit uncomfortable with it. Mm. Or let's say you have a neighbor and this neighbor has a motorcycle. And when he goes to work every day at six in the morning, he's accelerating. That's a pet peeve. Pet peeve. Uh -huh, that's a pet peeve. And the word pet has nothing to do with animals. It's just a name. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pet peeves. Right? Thank you for the explanation. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right, now let me ask you this. Uh, in the previous uh, level, in the previous module, we mentioned the five different things you need to know about a new word. Can you guys help me? Okay, someone said the meaning? Me, Karen. Okay, meaning, what else? Um, how to use it. Okay, how to use it? Part of speech. How to pronounce it? That is speech. Part of speech. Mm -hmm. Okay, part of, part speech. of speech. What else? Pronunciation. Yes. What more? Spelling. A spell. Very good. So whenever you guys have a new word, make sure that you cover these five parts. The meaning, how to use it, part of a speech, pronunciation, and spelling. Nice. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so when you say the meaning, what, uh, this, what do you mean exactly when you say meaning? What are we saying here? Maybe the translation? Um, well, if you're doing the translation, you're just going from one language to another. But when you say the word meaning, what comes to your mind? Uh, maybe, the maybe the correct interpretation. Okay, could be interpretation. Uh, okay. The way you can use it. In okay, your, you can use it. Your regular speech. Okay, so let me give you an example. If I said, what's the meaning of tiger? What's the meaning of tiger? It's like an animal. animal. Describing, describing animal. the characteristics of the animal. Right, so you say, well, it's an animal, it's black and orange, it lives in the jungle. So you're giving me a concept about the word, right? Maybe it's the image that you have in the, that word. Okay, good. The image that you have here and how you describe it. Very good. Yeah. Okay, anybody else wants to say something about meaning? A definition, a yes, description. The definition, the description, very good. What about how to use? Mm -hmm. The correct way you that you the, the word. The applicability. Yes, how to apply the word. Because many times we know the meaning of the word, but we don't know how to use it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that if you have a new word, you need to be able how to use that word. So you speak accurately. Mm -hmm. How to use it. Now, when we say part of speech, what are we talking about? The tenses. If, if it is a verb or a noun. Very good. How the many? context of the word. Okay, now when we say part of speech, um, like your friends were saying, 
we're talking about the part of grammar. How many parts does grammar have? Eight. Eight. The American version says that there are eight parts of speech. What about British? Nine. What's the difference? Is the 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 I I don't remember the name of that. Can someone uh, tell us what the name is? What's the name of this? Article. Article. Yes. Definite. Article. Definite article. Definite article. Yes. Definite article. Now, so when we talk about part of speech, we're talking like, is it a verb, a noun, an adjective? What about pronunciation? How can you improve your pronunciation? Practicing. Practicing. Re Re listening. Yes. Using or Remember talking. that your pronunciation, your fluency, depends on your listening. Yeah. So it's very important that you're constantly practicing your listening. Mm -hmm. And what about the last one? Spelling. Spelling. So that you say that word. Which? How to every, write it. Every letter. Which word? Every letter. Spelling. You write it correctly. Okay. Now, you write it correctly. Yes, that is true. What is the other form to spell a word? Talking. Huh? Uh, letter by letter. Okay. Writing. But how? Writing. Remember this? Writing and spoken. So let me give you an example. If I'm talking to you on the telephone and I said, um, how do you spell your last name? Are you going to write it? No. No, no. you won't. No. What, what are you going to do? Talk to me. Okay, so you will say it. So you will say, how do you, how do you spell your last name? P-E-R-E-Z. You don't write it, you say it. Right? Now, right. any any questions about these five things? Could you please repeat it? Uh, do you, you have any questions related to these five things? I, I, I got only four. I, I got only four. The meaning, the spelling, pronunciation, how to use it. And no, part right. of speech. Uh, part of speech. Thank you. Yes. Now, when we say speech, we're talking about grammar. Grammar. I got it. Okay. Now, once again, I asked you this before. In a real conversation, which are the three that you apply? Which three do you use in a real conversation? How to use it. How to use it? How to use it? Meaning. Okay. Meaning, how to use it. And, and pronunciation. pronunciation. Now, let me ask you this. When you're having a conversation with a person, do you discuss grammar? No. 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 You don't. No. When you're having a conversation with a person, do you discuss spelling? No. 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 You don't. No. But when you're having a conversation, you need to know the meaning of the word. You need to know how to use it. And definitely, your pronunciation has a lot to do with how much people will understand what you are saying. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any other comments about this? Okay. Now, when you see a new word, when you see a word that you don't know, what do you do? How to pronounce? How do you say or write the meaning? The meaning. The meaning. How to pronounce? Search the meaning. Okay, but how do you search the meaning? Uh, I usually search it in a 
in a dictionary, but uh, an English Translate. dictionary. Aha, uh -huh. English English dictionary. Yeah. yeah. Google. You Google it. Do, yeah. Google. You, Google, you do it in, you do the translation or do you find the English uh, definition? The definition, the meaning. The definition, the meaning of the word. Okay. Okay, fine. Now, which dictionary do you use when you want to know the meaning of a word? Do you have any dictionary in particular or do you just Google it? I Oxford, only use Oxford English Dictionary. Google. Yeah, English Dictionary in Google. Okay, fine, good, good. Now, what about your cell phones? Are your cell phones English or Spanish? Be honest. Spanish. Why in Spanish? Why in Spanish? Do you need more Spanish? No. No. Oh. Teacher. Wait, Teacher, native, you, native I, Spanish. I don't have I don't love an app today. Uh huh. That it, it is very good because when you're when you um, unblock your cell phone, there is always a new word in English. Good. And Perfect. it is the translation, the meaning the spelling, the pronunciation of each word. And so what's the name of the good. application? What's the name? Then let me see. I don't remember. Let's see. Okay. Um, the, it's Wordbeat. Okay. Word Maybe beat. you can share the name in the chat, in the WhatsApp group. Ahorita. Oh, right now. WhatsApp. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, not ahorita. Right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Spanglish. <laughs> Okay, what about the others? Why is your cell phone in Spanish? I don't know. But from now, I... my cell phone will be in English, of course. Right, right. If, if I, I see your cell phone, look, if, if I see your cell phones in Spanish, I will confiscate them. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I have your addresses. It's going to take me a while, but I go no, Okay, I will do it right now. Okay, what about your Facebook? Is your Facebook English or Spanish? English. 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 Spanish. English. Spanish. English. I don't remember. I don't know why I don't remember. English. Okay, if, I your, if, if your answer is Spanish, why do you have your Facebook in Spanish? <laughs> do, do you need more Spanish in your life? No, no, no. Not anymore, huh? That's English. No. Okay. Just need English. All right. Full English Very good. experience. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So we're going to stop right here. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you for making the time to join us in the in the in, the, in this conference. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.